Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Morrowind. This is Wes. Yes, Wes. Not Jess. Jesse's not here. Unless he snuck into my house, which he probably didn't. But anyway, uh, you may notice the sound quality is kind of wonky, not like the other videos, but that is because I do not have Jesse's setup. I have a headset, wraps, and a PC, all of which Jesse does not have. And so, we are going to be playing this lovely game. So, yes, I know a lot of people have done Morrowind before, but I know a few tricks, so that's going to be neat to show you. I think you're going to like it. And hey, every game of Morrowind is different. Let's watch the opening. Each vent is... Oh, too late. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard, without explanation, to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat, to the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Many fall, but one remains. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Whoa! I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's be Wes. We will be me. We'll... Wes! Great, Jib. We've got into a bad fight with somebody. Quiet. Took... Oh. Here comes the car. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. Looks like you're screwed, dude. Nice talking with you. I'm doing what they say. Alright, so we're in the boat. Nice boat. I'm coming, guard. Alright, so I'm Wes, prisoner of war. Actually, I don't know. I haven't decided what race or class to play. But this is not blind. I've played this game many times. Civil as possible. Okay, okay. Won't get a fight on me. Hey, dude. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Okie doke. Thank you. Hey, buddy. You finally arrived, but our records don't show who you win. I don't know where either. <laughs> Alright, so here you get to pick your race. Uh, we got a lot. Imperial is usually good, but Dark Elf is also interesting. Red Guards are good. I usually play them. They have good long blade. Look at that. Uh, high Elves, I don't like them. You know. I'll play, you know, it's Morrowind. Let's play a Dark Elf. We'll be a dude. Nah, we'll be a dude. Um, ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> I like that. I look like the genie from Aladdin. We'll keep that. <laughs> okay. I am... I'm sure I will too. Everyone else here is blue. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty good. Graphics aren't like wow, but you know I like them. All right. So after we pick our class, I'm gonna show you the first trick, which is really neat. I just hope I do it right. Uh, let's do a save. I guess I can't. Never mind. Hello. Uh, yes. yes. You. Uh, you I like this guy. before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Okay. So, I'm going, you can, like, pick questions here, which is kind of funny. Give them info, pick a class from the list, or you can create your own, which I'm going to do. And I will be, just for fun, I will be the genie. This will be the genie class. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have never figured out how to do stealth or magic any good in this game at all. I've always been terrible. Uh, excuse me, so I will be <laughs> Genies will be a combat and we will take strength and how about endurance? We'll be tough. 
Major skills, uh, block is good, armor, heavy, medium and heavy, and we'll pick a weapon. Um, uh, you know, we'll take long blade, sure. Actually, no, we'll go all heavy armor. No, 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 let's, I don't know, <laughs> I'm doing this on the, uh, okay, um, yeah, we'll trade out medium armor for... Gosh, I don't know. Acrobatics? No. Mercantile? Athletics! I forgot to tell you guys. Athletics is really, really important in Morrowind. You know why? Because you're running everywhere. Everywhere. So you need that if you want to do anything good. Uh, as for anything else, I guess I can take an alternative weapon. Um... You know, I'll take axe as kind of like an alternative weapon. No, actually, no, I don't want axe. I want blunt. For alternative, so I'm not caught with my pants down in case my armor goes out. I'll take medium armor. I'll take acrobatics, security, just in case. You never know. And mercantile, because you're going to do a lot of trading. All right. Very good. That's the that. The letter that proceeded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Ah, the sign. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys. The best sign you can get is the lady. Because you get 50 points for your abilities. That's good. Steed is also nice. But look at that. That's only 25. This is 50. Going with the girly side. Pink dinosaur all the way. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. All right, let's look this over. We got West the Dark Elf, who is a genie, born under the lady, and we have really crappy skills. But we'll be good. We have 75 endurance. That is baller. All right, so now I have stats. Right click. There you go. All right, now here is the first trick. Watch this. See this? I know. I know. See this limeware platter? Now watch this. Now drop it. Drop it on the floor. Continue through to Good. The next building and talk to now pick it up. He doesn't care. So look what we got. We got this 650 limeware platter for nothing. Didn't even get in trouble. You can do that with anything in this room, but that's the most expensive. These books are pretty good, but whatever. We're going to keep going. Now take everything you can in this room. Because money is important in Morrowind when you first start. So take that book. Alright, so then you go over here. You have this little sword. You get the, the iron dagger, which sucks. This note about the dagger. Um, get the lockpick, which is also good. Get flynn. Good. And get the silverware. All good stuff. Get the candles. Nah, we don't need bread. We don't need to eat. Alright, so we're going to equip the lockpick. And unlock. There we go. 31 gold. Good. Unequip. Let's keep looking. Uh, nothing good. Nothing good. Any more silverware? Worthless. Bah ha. There we go. Don't need the egg. Sorry guys, I have a bit of cold. Ugh, petty soul gem. So yeah, since you can't get penalized for stealing anything in this certain area, take all the expensive stuff and go. You'll be able to sell it right after. Now out here, you need to take this ring. That ring right there, the engraved ring of healing. Because it triggers a little starter quest, and it's all blah blah blah, it says you can use magic with it. Woot. Your papers, please. Okay. Now, the other trick you can do, which I can never do, but if you're a stealth class, you can. Steal the warehouse key. I'm not good at it. So, we're not going to. But, okay. So you can ask him all these sorts of things. Um, if you guys want to read this on your own time, I recommend go getting the game. But, you know, I'll explain stuff. This package came with news of your rival. Take it to Caius Cosatus in Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club. 
Alright, and serve him as you would the Emperor. We're going to go take him a package. So, we'll get to that. We're not going to do it right away. Alright, now we're outside. Woohoo! Alright, and before we end this first video, let's talk to this nice little elf right here. You're the one odd to see a boat arrive. Hope the Imperials treat me okay. They took my ring. Yes, I found it. Here's your ring. Haha, oh, you found it. Yay, you're my best friend. I'm not kidding. He says that I'm his best friend. Already may have already made a friend. Alright. Now Solcium, this is the complete package, so we have all the expansions. Um we may explore all the other stuff. We'll see. Alright, we got the guard, Imperial Legion, which you can actually join in this game, which you can't do in Oblivion. Now, when you're playing this game, always ask for rumors, advice, all that. Yeah, see? Now, if I go tell the transport lady that he talked to me. Alright, before we end this, let's go sell our stuff. We don't enter there. I always think we do, but we don't. Enter here. Alright, talk to this guy. Alright. So blah blah blah, practice my skills. Okay. So we're going to go to Barter. He already likes us. Gonna sell him all the stuff we picked up. All the books, this fork, uh, this flint. And we'd uh, keep the dagger for now. Look at that. 655 off the bat. Let's raise it to 660. Bingo. Look at that, guys. Right off the bat, we got 778 gold. And we're going to get even more. I'm going to show you how to be rich when you start this game. Freaking rich. Alright, now talk to this guy. He's going to tell you that Fargoth has been hiding some gold. So... He basically told us that if we hide up there at the lighthouse and watch at midnight, we can see where our little friend Fargoth is hiding his gold. So, next video, we will find Fargoth's hiding place. We will go find some falling people and have more fun in Sidonine. Alright, this has been Let's Play Morrowind. See you guys later.